So in the first of our little series of black cow kitchen cocktails, we're going to make a martini desperado, which is a very quick version of a martini. And I first had this in a restaurant called Pomegranate on, uh, on the embankment. And the owner, uh, the restaurant sadly closed now, literally brought out a bottle from his freezer which was pre-mixed with a little bit of vermis. We've got some black down English vermis here. So kind of the amount that you would just swish the glass around with and throw it away. And what you can do is you can either add a little bit of water which would make up for the stirred or shaken martini on the ice. And then that way you actually have everything in one bottle. And at the time I thought, you know, that's a genius because you get home and you think, hmm, I fancy a martini. And it's already there, shaken, no ice cubes involved. And you can add some olive juice to it. You can add a little twist of lemon to it. But I think for at home it's perfect. You know, I think restaurants where barmen are actually constantly on the go, you know, there's probably no necessity to do this as such, but I sort of like the idea because what you get is everything in one bottle, just ready to pour. It's like having a martini on tap. So what we're gonna do with this is a very easy black cow snack, which is black cow cheddar. And one of my favorite lardo ingredients, the pickled walnut. The really old fashioned thing is the pickled walnut. But I've always got them in my fridge. And I did try making them once. Complete disaster because you have to get your walnuts just at the point when they're, they haven't formed the skin yet. So as you can see, these are soft all the way through. And they're a great thing. And also the thing I love with pickled walnuts is the juice is almost like a natural balsamic vinegar. So a little bit of that, a little bit of cheddar. There we go, you've got a perfect snack to go with your emergency martini, the martini desperado. Cheers, Archie, would you like one?